What I'm about to show you is and teach you is one of the concepts that I absolutely love for beating the gun bunch meta or the blocking scheme that is out of the gun bunch. And as you can see, we're able to get really clean five man pressure, even with the tight end blocking. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And also in this video, we are talking today with you about my favorite defense to run in Madden 22 and that is the nickel triple formation. Now, the nickel triple formation is by far my favorite blitzing defense. I would not want to blitz out of any other formation. There are some really good defenses out of the 3 3 5 the 245 odd, the 335 will, those are all really good. But there's nothing quite like the nickel triple, to be quite honest with you. So in this video, we're going to show you um, just an incredible, incredible pressure concept that you can use against. There's really two primary ways that offenses can block you in this game or the pass protection schemes work. The first one is bunch blocking, and the second one is trips blocking. So for example, uh, bunch blocking would be a running back is on one side and a tight end is on the other side. Trips blocking is the running back and the tight end are both on the same side. Now this nickel triple blitzing concept that I'm going to teach you in this video actually works against both types of blocking schemes. Bunch tight end, for example, utilizes trips blocking. The running back and the tight end are on the same side of the field. Tight slots, for example, in this in this case, uses bunch blocking. Uh, spread wide slot is a little bit of a different mechanic, but uh, tray wide flex a little bit different as well. But the bottom Bottom line is we're going to talk about this specifically as it relates to the gun bunch and the way that most people like to pick up pressure this year out of the gun bunch. And I'm going to talk about why that is. Um, first, I'm going to show you this out of the three through five wide, and then we're going to move over to triple and show you why that is the case. So most people, if they're going to blitz bunch, they're going to go to three three five wide. They're going to crash their lineup and they're going to keep it contained. And what you're going to notice here is if they send five out, you're going to get pretty clean pressure off the left side. Now, the other thing that you're going to notice here and why people like this blitz so much is if I were to stand on this right side and they block a running back, this contain is going to loop around the running back and the running back blocking is not going to pick this up. So what most people do, especially if you're a gun bunch player, is they are going to block their tight end to try to pick up the majority of blitzes. As you can see, it picks up the blitz and now I have time to make the throw. Most people, uh, at least the way the, the game works this year, they use that concept uh, against other formations that aren't the nickel three through five wide, for example. So uh, when we talk about the nickel triple, uh, I'm going to show you a real simple setup. The play we're going to go over today is nickel blitz two. You could do this out of other plays, but I love nickel blitz two. You could also do this out of nickel blitz three is a great defense to do this out of. Uh, but anyway, nickel blitz two. All we're going to do from a setup perspective, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this for the totality of the play. If you wanted to do something a little bit different, you certainly could. But I like to show blitz. And then I'm going to manually press the slot corner on the right. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit the triangle button. I'm going to hit the X button. I'm going to hit the R1 button to select that slot receiver. And I'm going to flick the right joystick down. You see it's going to move him down off of the line of scrimmage. And then what I'm going to do is I actually like to bring this guy down into the box just to kind of create this like aggressive style look. And then from there, I'm going to click on to Collins. And as you'll be able to see at the snap of the ball, um, we should be able to get pretty clean pressure off the right edge. As you can see, we get really good pressure off of the right edge. Now, uh, the first way that they might try to stop this blitz is they might block the running back. So uh, we're going to set it up exactly the same again. You can see it's really simple to set up. It's really not, it really doesn't take any time at all. Um, but again, I'm going to, I like to put my user on a blitz. I just think it helps it a little bit. Uh, but what you're going to see here is at the snap of the ball, this contain loops around and the blocked running back, the blocked running back actually does a decent job uh, at picking this up. But most people, like I said, they're going to block this like they block this out of, out of pretty much anything else out of bunch. They're going to block their tight end. So again, the setup, show blitz, manually press the slot corner, QB contain. I like to blitz my user and stand kind of right here, if you will. And what you'll see is that the snap of the ball, if they block that tight end, he is going to loop around. Um, now, this is also why I like to take that top of the screen safety and bring him down into the box 
just kind of helps a little bit uh, with these blitzes. The more people in the box, uh, the more, as my controller freezes here, um, the more people in the box, the more that they have to worry about it. So again, you could bring this guy down. If you wanted to, you could zone this guy off. Uh, for example, it might look something like that. Um, and then you can see here, I can use this guy on a blitz if I want to. You could do it vice versa. But as you can see at the snap of the ball here, uh, we're going to get that contained pressure. Now, I waited so long at the snap that I got a little bit of a weird animation. So let me show you that again. So again, just simple uh, setup. I'm not going to worry too much about the coverage. I just want to show you the blitz primarily. So again, we're just going to stand kind of right in here, if you will, at the snap. We're going to do this. And as you can see, one of those two guys oftentimes will get a quick disengage or they'll, they won't get blocked altogether. And I can get that pressure in. So again, show blitz, manually press, QB contain, blitz your user, bring him over this area. And then what you should see is at the snap of the ball, that contain is going to loop around. And as you can see, we're able to get the pressure. This blitz works a ton better in game. It also works a ton better because of the fact that you're going to have faster players, uh, obviously an ultimate team trying to run this concept. If they block their running back, you're going to see here that second way I was running it. You, you see, I mean, it does kind of dumb out the contain. I will be honest. It does kind of weird out the contain a little bit um, if they block their running back. One way that you can kind of get around that is you can man this guy up. Uh, and what you should see here is if I have the running back manned up, uh, oftentimes, especially against max protect, you're going to see this contain looper uh, will just kind of loop around and be able to come in against max protect. Max protect is just as bad as blocking the, the tight end. And the reason why is because the tight end is blocking. And oftentimes against max protect, you're going to get this pressure to come completely free. So again, this is just one of my favorite little concepts. Uh, as you can see, that's max protect. And you see how fast the pressure comes in for a simple five-man pressure. To me, you're getting a lot of value out of this pressure. And this is one of the many reasons why I love to blitz uh, out, of this, out of this formation. And again, you would probably obviously set up a little bit different coverage wise. You might go with something like this and then kind of rise into the into the middle third there. But as you can see, the pressure is really, really good. The coverage is pretty good. You can craft that a little bit as you'd like. But that is the Nickel Blitz 2 out of the Nickel Triple. Like I said, that if you want to learn the rest of the Nickel Triple defense, this is just a... Uh, uh, just a tip of the iceberg video uh, at the pressure that you can create from nickel triple. Like I said, it's my favorite formation to blitz out of in the game. There are so many things that you can do. And so if you want to learn all of those things, be sure to join the Patreon. By joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I have. Right now we have currently 13 offensive and defensive guides available to you, and we've got more on the way. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on down to the description below click on that link and go check out that patreon membership uh, today thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time